Hi, everybody. Jim Graham here for Beyond the Cage, presented by Fight Chicks. On the line, we have a special guest joining us. He will be fighting on the undercard of UFC Fight Night 52 over in Japan against Kazuki Tudome. He is Mr. Johnny Case. Johnny, thanks for coming on Beyond the Cage. Hey, my pleasure. Thanks for having me today, guys. Now, of course, summer's wrapping up here in 2014, but how has your summer been? Uh, I've been busy, man. Lots of hard work. Um, just been, I've been out here at Alliance grinding away. Uh, I was supposed to make my debut back in June, and unfortunately that, that fell through. So, um, took, took a couple weeks off to recover and, uh, got right back at it. And just been plugging away and getting better and, uh, working hard all summer. Now, you're originally from Iowa, and as you mentioned, training an alliance out there in California. What has been the difference, uh, between training in Iowa and training out in Alliance in San Diego? The training partners, without a doubt, without a doubt. Uh, back home, I have, uh, I have some good partners to work with, um, about, just about a handful, though, you know, I don't have a whole lot, and, uh, they're mostly just ground guys. Um, out here at Alliance, there's, you know, 30 guys every day that, that, you know, some days that you can you, you you can do well with, and some days they just absolutely kick your butt. So it's definitely the uh, the training partners out here. Um, the coaches are really knowledgeable, and and just the facility. You know, it's a really really nice gym, and um, and the, the training is just it's it's uncomparable to anything in Iowa. Uh, of course, there's a lot of top guys uh, at Alliance Gym: Miles Jury, Jeremy Stevens. Phil Davis, just to name a few, Dominic Cruz. And with all those guys with UFC experience, how much does that help you on a daily basis when you're there? Um, it helps a lot, you know. Uh, I've kind of, you know, I've been in, i fought a couple guys, you know, in other promotions that have been to the UFC. And, um, you know, I, I've kind of, kind of known for a few years now that uh, it's just a matter of time before I, I get my debut in the UFC. So I kind of knew my talent was there. But uh, definitely coming out here and training with those guys is really just, you know, been that extra reassurance. Um, gives me all the confidence in the world knowing that I'm training day in and day out with some of the best guys in the world in UFC. So, uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, to, to answer your question more thoroughly, it's just it, it's been it's been exactly what I needed um, as far as reassurance goes to uh, to knowing I belong in UFC. Now, when you step into the cage, is there any fighter, past or present, that you kind of try to emulate or maybe kind of mimic uh, someone that's maybe, you know, been successful in the sport that you can kind of go in there and say, all right, if I can do it kind of like this guy, I can uh, be successful out there? Uh, no, no, not at all. Um, I, I go to fight my, you know, I, I, I'm myself every fight. And, uh, you know, I think I, I, I like my style. I think I have a very exciting style. And, um, you know, I finish a lot of fights that way. But, um, yeah, I mean, everybody I fight, there hasn't been one guy I've fought that I haven't learned something or, you know, taking, taking something out of their game. You know, whether it be the mindset or, you know, whether it be the way they set, set something up. Or, you know, so... I really just try to um, to learn every fight, and uh, if I get hit with something or you know get, get caught with something that I'm like, wow, that was pretty slick, you know, I try to do my best to, uh, to emulate that or to try to you know try to remember exactly how that went. So yeah, I mean, I'm always learning, always expanding. Now, of course, one of the guys that you train with over there in Alliance is Miles Jury, who will also be fighting in Japan with you on that card. And I was wondering how much has that fact helped you in your training camp, having someone else also preparing for a fight on the same night? Uh, it's been pretty awesome. I mean, uh, Miles is a good friend. You know, he he brought me out here to Alliance. Um, I came out here to help him get ready for the Diego Sanchez fight. And, uh, I mean, to, to be honest, it's just, it, it's it's really cool. It feels like, you know, me and my, me and my brother, me and my teammate are just going to go out and uh, we're going to smash, you know, we're going to take care of business, we're going to win our fights, and uh, we're going to have some fun and live it up in Japan for a little bit and come home and, and see the family and right back to training. So, uh, I mean, it's just it's really cool to uh, to have somebody to share the experience with, to know that I'm, I have another teammate on the card. Uh, it's not just me out there doing my doing my thing and coming home. You know, I got, I got an extra guy out there and, you know, the weight cut's always been pretty tough, and it's just nice to know that I got someone there with me to 
kind of help with the suffering, so to say. <laughs> now, when you're not in the gym training, working on your game, what do you like to do for fun? Um, I'm a father of two, uh, two young boys, two and three, and they're they're my whole life, you know. Um, pretty much that's all I that's 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 my life, you know. Just hanging out with the boys, go to the park, or you know, go to the movies, just try to hang out and have fun with them. Um, but I guess like if I if I get any downtime, I I uh, I've raced motocross since I was, you know, since I was 12, 13 years old, and uh, I still really enjoy going out and riding. I haven't raced in years, but um, I still really enjoy going out to the track and, you know, getting a few laps in and, and kind of just going back, riding with some of my old friends I used to ride with. So, I mean, that, that's really enjoyable to me. Just anything outside, anything with the boys, it's just it's, that's where you'll find me. Jim Graham talking with Johnny Case up ahead of his fight at UFC Fight Night 52. You can follow him on Twitter at Hollywood Case. And with you fighting in Japan, do you think any jet lag or the time zone change, do you think that may have any effect on your performance when you get over there? Uh, no, not at all. I mean, it may it may affect me, you know, it may, but I'm not going to let it affect my performance. Um, you know, i got a job to do, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do that to to the 100% best of my ability, um, whether it be jet lag or, you know, just exhaustion, whatever. I mean, it's, there's no excuse. I got 15 minutes. That's all I can do. Top top performance, and I'm going to do it regardless. So I'm not real too, too worried about the jet lag or, you know, time difference or anything like that. Now, you haven't fought since October of last year, and you mentioned your debut was supposed to be earlier in the year. You had a little bit of a injury there, and now finally you have a fight booked, and it just happens to be in the UFC. So how excited are you for this fight over in Japan? Oh, man, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Uh, like they, they offered me the fight against uh, Allen Berger in June, and you know, it turned out I had an injury. I took that fight on three weeks' notice. And, um, you know, immediately found out I had an injury and was not able to, to fight in that. So that kind of was a big, you know, a big step back. But, um, when they, when they gave me news that I would be making my debut in Japan, it was just, man, I was on cloud nine. Um, not only have I, you know, wanted to fight in the UFC, but I've also, you know, wanted to see Japan. I just wanted to travel the world, fight different countries. And, um, I get to do that right now on my debut. So for me, there's nothing better. Now, of course, your fight is against Kazuki Tukdome, and he not only will be fighting in his home country, he has fought three times himself in the UFC. And I was wondering, is his experience in fighting against uh, a man from that country in Japan, did that give you any cause for concern in booking this fight? No, not at all. Not at all. Um, Kazuki's a very tough guy. He's a very tough opponent. And uh, as I expect, anybody fighting in the UFC would be... um, coming off two losses, he's going to have the pressure. You know, not a lot of guys stick around after going three losses in the UFC, you know, three losses in, in the majority of the time they, they go ahead and cut you. So I think all the pressure is going to be on him. You know, it's up to him to perform in front of his friends and family. And uh, it's up to him to make sure that he gets this win to stay alive in the UFC. Um, you know, it's me. It's my debut. There's not a lot of expect. you know, people are really expecting me to come out and, and – you know, dominate and do my thing. So for me, that's, that's, that's awesome. You know, there's no pressure for me. I just go out and I just perform like I know I can and, and, uh, the rest is really out of my hands. So, uh, I mean, I'm really looking forward to it. I'm really, really excited to, to not only be fighting in Japan, but fight him in his, in his hometown, you know, him up two losses. So I really think that that, you know, that puts a lot more pressure on him than it does on me. Now, looking at Kazuki, what makes him uh, dangerous against you on September 20th? Uh, his durability and his heart. That's uh, the two things that I really admire about this opponent. Um, sure, I mean, yeah, he's good. He's good striking. He's, he's good on the ground. But uh, the thing I really I, I really admire about him is his, his durability, his, his ability to take a punch and not only to you know survive but to keep fighting. I think that's going to be, you know, a lot, a lot. If I can just um, just do my job, land my strikes, and win win that way, then that'd be good. But if I think if uh, I, maybe I hurt him and I think I have him more hurt than he is, and I try to finish him and might get gas, that's the only thing I really feel like I'm gonna have to worry about is just is just getting lazy and, and getting tired and exhausting myself. I think that's really the, the only way that this kid really got a shot to beat me. 
Of course, this is your UFC debut, so what would it mean to you to get a win at UFC Fight Night 52 for your first UFC fight? Uh, it'd be everything for me. You know, I, I'm looking at this fight like it's the uh, it's the first fight of my career. You know, um, I, I've had 20 fight, you know, 22 fights professionally. I've been fighting professionally since I was 18 years old. Um, but really, it's all just been a, a markup to, to my UFC debut. So, I mean, if I go out there and I win and I, and I put on a good show, that's that's going to just set the tempo for the rest of my my UFC career. Um, it's really going to just it's really going to refuel the fire and uh, and just motivate me that much more for my next fight. Now, we're a little over two weeks from your fight over in Japan, but what is your weight looking at right now? My weight's good, man. Uh, I woke up after practice today. I was, you know, 168 pounds, and that's on two gallons of water and eating everything. I, You know, I, I eat till I'm full. I just eat the right things. So this has been one of the best weight cuts I've had, and... Um, I got a lot, you know. I got, I had some really good help from uh, another fellow fighter, and um, it's just, uh, I've just been shedding pounds. I was at a little bit of a standstill there for a while. I was kind of bouncing between 180 and 170 pounds, 75 pounds. But uh, once I got through that, a week of week or two, and now I'm starting to really get the weight off. So the weight's good. Uh, my sh- my cardio is great. My strength is great. My technique's great. And I'm, I'm just ready to get the fist fight. Now, as I mentioned earlier, one of your training partners, Mile Jury, fighting on the same card. He's taking on former Pride champion Takanori Gomi. I was wondering, how do you think he'll fare against the former champion? Uh, my point, my opinion, I think he's going to knock Gomi out, or he's going to hurt him with punches and submit him. Uh, Miles is a really, really lengthy, rangy fighter, and he's a really smart technical fighter. And I just think that's a bad matchup for anybody he goes in there against, especially someone who's only, you know, I think Gomi's only what five eight doesn't cut a lot of weight. So, um, I mean, I think Gomi's in a lot of trouble. <laughs> but then again, I'm biased, so we'll just have to wait and see on the 20th. Now, the main event uh, of your fight there in Japan, UFC Fight Night 52, is the big fellas, Roy Nelson and Mark Hunt. I was wondering, who do you have in the main event of it? Ah, man, that's a tough one. Ah, I, I, I'm a big fan of both of them. Ever, you know, Mark Hunt, ever since his K1 days, I, I've been a fan. In big country, I, I've been a fan since the IFL days, you know. Um, gosh, put me on the spot here. If I was going <laughs> to pick one, I'm going to have to go with my boy, Roy Nelson. I think uh, I think he's got the slight advantage in the, in that the fact that his ground game is a little more well-rounded, a little more developed than Mark Hunt's. Uh, but we'll just see how they how they choose the fight. If they choose to stand up and bang, I, I think I'd probably give it to Hunt. If uh, if if Nelson's able to implement his game plan, I think he's gonna go for the ground and either get a TKO or a submission victory. All right. Once again, he is Johnny Case fighting at UFC Fight Night 52 exclusively on the UFC Fight Pass on September 20th against Kazuki Tadome. You can follow him on Twitter at Hollywood Case. Johnny, thanks for coming on the show. Really appreciate it and wish you the best of luck over in Japan in about two weeks. Thanks a lot, man. I appreciate you guys having me. Once again, that was Johnny Case right here on Beyond the Cage presented by Fight Chicks.